These friends had the right idea. They had a great love for their friend and their friend had a great need and they knew Jesus could meet that need. They were willing to do anything they had to do in order to get their friend to Jesus. Now that must have been quite a thing to see, right? Uh, houses of that time weren't built like ours. The roof would have been wooden beams overlaid with branches and plastered with mud. Digging through it would still have been a big job, but you could do by hand. Can you imagine what the people in the room thought when dirt and branches started to fall in and then this stretcher gets lowered down in front of Jesus? It may seem a bit strange that Jesus started by forgiving the man's sins rather than healing him, but Jesus knew that our greatest problem is always our sin, not anything else going on in our lives. Every other trouble we have is only temporary, but sin separates us from God. And this made the Pharisees angry because only God could forgive sins, and they didn't like Jesus saying that. And then Jesus demonstrated his authority over sin and everything else by accomplishing an amazing miracle. He healed this man's terrible and tragic condition, showing his power as the son of God. 